بكل حبي للحياة والبلدي وكل بسمة فوق شفايف ولدي بكل حبي للحياة والبلدي وكل بسمة فوق شفايف ولدي وكل شوق الفجر وشروقي وكل نبض الثورة فاروقي وكل شوق الفجر وشروقي وكل نبض الثورة فاروقي قتلك وانا ضامي جراح الامن حالي لا رجع لك عيون الشمس قتلك وانا ضامي جراح الامس حالف لا رجع لك عيون الشمس يا 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 بلدي Pleasure meeting you. Man, I, yeah. I hopefully one day uh, get to come to your country. To Bahrain, yes. Yes, I, you know, so can you make that happen? I love to come. It will, it will be our pleasure. Bird dance over there, you know. Just one last question. What is your favorite match of all time? If you WrestleMania three. Three, yeah. Yes. Wow, yeah. Ninety-three thousand people. Right, yeah. right. Nice to meet you, sir. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Do you remember me? We met in San Jose Hassan. Yeah. Holy shit, man. How are you? Nice to see you. We are filming at the high man. Oh, nice to see you. Hi. Uh, Hassan. Yes. Nice to see you, my friend. You too. Keep in touch. Bye. Stay well, man. Bye. How long have you been a Bret Hart fan? About five years old, so I guess. Oh, wow. 35 years. Oh, wow. So. Let's say that's going back to right. the early 80s. Yeah, early 80s. As yeah. Far as I can remember WrestleMania 2, WrestleMania 3. Wow. That's the earliest WrestleManias I can remember watching. Right. And where would you rank the Hearts Foundation between your all-time favorite tech teams? Probably top three. Top three, okay. Yeah. Hearts Foundation, British Bulldogs. Dogs. And uh, Demolition. Demolition. So only WWF tech team, I guess. No yeah. love for some NWA tech teams? Oh, uh, I was, NWA was kind of before my time, so I'm not right. really too familiar right. with those, but yeah. The I same mean, for me, yeah. Roll Express and, and the Midnight, Express, right. Midnight Express, too. I mean, I'm familiar with them, but I just didn't get to watch them very much when wow. I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, and what is the tag match that hooked you into the Hearts Foundation? Your right. earliest memory that you said, this is uh, my tag team to go. Um, probably Hard Foundation against the uh, the Dream Team. The Dream Team. Yeah, you remember Greg Valentine? And yeah, Brutus yeah, and Cake. the Brutus Beefcake. Brutus Beefcake. I yeah. have never seen this match. When yeah. was it? I was uh, probably early '80s. Oh wow! Yeah, early '80s. Wow. Yeah, it was really good. And their feud also with the uh, British Bulldogs. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. ahead of their time. Uh, what was your first live event yeah, that you saw Bright uh, perform live? Probably late 80s. Um, yeah. I got to see uh, Ultimate Warrior. And uh, the main event was Ultimate Warrior and uh, Earthquake. Earth so it must have been around 90 or 89, right? Yeah, about 89, not, yeah, okay. late 80s. And did the Heart Foundation wrestle in the event? 
Not that I can remember. Okay. Not that I can remember. He might have, but I don't remember. Okay, one last question. What is your favorite Bret Hart match ever? Oh, the match WrestleMania 13 against 13, Stone Cold. Austin, yeah. Stone Cold. That's the popular choice. Yeah. May we see some of the items sure, you are going sure. to sign? You sign the wing eagle. So this is the Bright Hearts built. Yeah. Everybody is calling it the Bright yeah, Hearts. Already got Stone Cold of Sonic, Shawn Michaels. Wow. And Ric Flair. Pretty cool. Right. Wow. And, and the Intercontinental belt, yeah. And then last, the big gold belt. Nice. I prefer the black strap over oh, the white yeah, one, yeah. Yeah, that's the best. That's the best version. Yeah. And that's the. the yeah. And Brett has held three of all of those titles yeah. right now. Yes. When he went to WCW, he held that belt. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Jerry. He beat uh, uh, Chris Benoit, yeah. Chris Benoit. In the final, yeah. He also beat Sting. Oh, yeah. Mayhem 1999. Yep. Right. A lot of people, they don't like Brett's run in WCW, but I really like it. Yeah. He had some pretty nice he had matches. Some, he had some matches that you never saw before. Yeah. Before, you know, against Goldberg, against Sting. Goldberg, yeah. The Booker T. And yeah. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. How long have you been a Bret Hart fan? Uh, about 25 years now. Wow, 25 years. So that's starting from? Uh, late 80s, early 90s. Late 80s, wow. Were you a Big Heart Foundation fan as well? I was a Big Heart Foundation fan. More of a Bret Hart fan, but I was a Big Heart Foundation fan. Oh, God. So... A big fan of the sharpshooter. If you have... Oh, is it your favorite mo uh, finisher? That is my favorite finisher. If, uh, if can I ask you, what is your top three Bret Hart matches? Or? My top three Bret Hart matches are... Favorite, yeah. Bret Hart versus Owen Hart. Uh, the Still WrestleMania one? At WrestleMania. That's cool, yeah. When Owen Hart beat Bret. Yep. Then I like that same WrestleMania where Bret beat Yokozuna for the title. Right. And then my other favorite match would be where Bret beat Stone Cold. When uh, maybe Stone Cold pass out. Oh, the WrestleMania 13. Yes, yeah. that would probably. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Iron Man match as well. Yeah. Um, it's definitely the top five matches of all time, in my opinion. Wow. I agree. It's hard uh, to disagree with that. It is. And uh, is it your first time meeting Brett or? No, I've met him been about seven, eight times. Now. Wow. <laughs> So it, it's definitely it's an extended experience. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Can uh, is it okay to see some of the stuff yeah, you are going? So this is a. Uh, oh, this is pretty cool. This is from the early nineties. So that's from nineteen ninety four. This is another one from nineteen ninety four as well. Were you collecting them at that time or just uh, bought uh, them? No, I've been collecting them since then. Wow. Like, you know, this too, you know, I, I keep them unopened and things like that. That's keep them pretty in the box. cute. So I have a bunch of collectibles like that. And, wow. Uh, you know, I try to get them signed as often as possible. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Great. Thank yeah, you, Sean. Thank you. Very thank much. you. Hi. Hi. Wow. Yes. Done, eh? Dana, where are you? I like it. She's wearing pink, so it's perfect for the occasion meeting. Right? Aku, you are on, on camera, by the way, huh? Babe? Yeah, this is my wife. This is my mother alone. This is Dana. Hi. So that's the new generation era, right? Wow, that's super cool. Wow. Wow. And then uh, just a bread only piece. Amazing. Wow. Wow. Great job. Thanks, man. Appreciate Great job. I think Brett would love it. Do you have any more arts or? Yeah, just. Yeah. yeah. Other than Brett? Yeah, you no, have I've it got, with them, or yes, you have two posts. That's all I've got here with ah, me right okay, now. okay, wow. That's wow. all I've got with me for the weekend. Wow. Nice to meet you, Doug. Yeah, wow. thanks. Have a great day. Hi, uh, we are doing a documentary. Would you mind doing a quick interview? You know, let's go like, for you it. You see me have a pretty oh, cool stuff. Absolutely. Uh, what is your name? Bobby. Bobby, my name is Hassan. DJ. DJ. TJ, yeah. DJ. DJ, okay. Yeah, like, what's going on? Hi, how are you guys? I am with Bobby and DJ. What's happening, dude? Hi, how are you guys? Nice, on, to you. nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Uh, to meet a fellow Bret Hart fan. So Absolutely. First of all, excuse me with my English. It's not my no native problem. language. I think you have some cool stuff going on uh, right you here. You know, just your regular wow. Bret Hart painting going on here. So you did the art yourself? 
I actually have a great friend straight out of Queens. Wow. Sketch right here. Great graffiti artist. Love it. Love it. Can we see some of the stuff as well? We got your basic yeah, going wow. on here. That's cool. You guys got to pick this up. Right. WrestleCon. Wow. And for the grand visual, we're That's going pretty back to cool. the 80s. Way back to the This 80s. is actually so cool. Uh, I think one of the original toys that came out um, in the 80s for Bret Hart. This is the first oh. WWF toy ever. So ever. I think that's from 1987. This one is, I believe it's going to be, this one is the 85, 1985 this came out. 85, 86. Okay. But definitely, this is again, this is awesome. This is one of the first. But I guess this is from '87 because they started to wear the pink around '87. Yes, this came. There was three variants. You had the purple. Okay. You had the bright pink, and then you had the white. Wow, pink. that's pink. amazing. And then you know you got to represent WWE, WWF. Wow. You know, loving it, loving it. Yeah. So what are, uh, what are your favorite Bret Hart matches for of all time, DJ? Well, DJ is more of the 2000s. Okay. Yeah. Like the Attitude Era, so you're going to be talking to the one and only right here. Okay. Um, so I would so say... So let's change that question. You got it. If you had to choose one match to introduce DJ to Bret Hart, what would it be? Honestly, I would say... Don't tell me WrestleMania 13. Everybody is talking uh, about it. You need, okay, okay. You need to I have a different... That um, believe it or not, it's going to be... The British Bulldog versus Bret Hart at, um, I believe it was... The In Your House match? It was, no, it was in London. Yeah, the Summer Slam match. For the match. IC title. It was yeah. one of the best matches. It was family versus family. Right. And, um, you know, Bret Hart did lose, but it boosted up yes. the British Bulldog, who should be in the Hall of Fame already. Right. Not Brutus Beefcake, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> just being honest. Yeah. Just being honest. Yeah. I think all of, of those it should have been the whole Hart Foundation. So. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We're talking Brian Pillman. I mean, Owen Hart's going to be very long time. Yeah. But um, yeah, absolutely. Are all you guys forward. going to the uh, Hall of Fame or? I will be going to Access Sunday. Okay. Okay. Uh, what are your choices to have uh, the inductees for the Hart Foundation? What would you choose? Jimmy Hart. Got to be Jimmy Hart. Yeah. Got to yeah, be Jimmy well. Hart. Yeah, okay. um, but, but I would have to say if if they can do if they can do two, I would say Jimmy Hart, right. Hart Foundation, and I would say uh, Natalia for Jim the Ammo Nightheart. Yeah, that's Absolutely. a great that's a great option. Absolutely. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you, man. Thank you. Nice right. to meet you guys. Like thank guys. you, DJ. Thank you. Thank you. We're meeting for, for the coming. first time. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. 
we've been exchanging messages. Messages on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. And it's a great uh, place. So this is the age of it. social media. I know. And it's, we didn't, we haven't met yet, but uh, we've know. been exchanging messages. And That's maybe so we're having the conversations. I know. The yeah. strength of wrestling bringing people together. Definitely. Yeah. I think you told me once you had your master degree of. Uh, so, uh, sports science. All right. Yeah. And your thesis was about uh, sociology of professional wrestling. Can you tell us a, a bit about um, it? Yes. Um, well, that was just about the only thing I knew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After my college, you know, I've been a wrestling editor, wrestling writer, wrestling okay. journalist. Right. And in fact, I started as a wrestling journalist while I was in college. Wow. Yeah, in if Minnesota. If you don't mind uh, letting, yeah. letting us know which year, which year was that? Um, I went to college in Minnesota, okay. America. Oh, here in the States? Yeah, oh. Minnesota. Wow. And when I was 19, I thought I could become a wrestling journalist. While I'm in America, there was which a whole Which year was that? Uh, 1981. Oh, okay. 1981, so it's been 38 years. 38 years, wow. <laughs> yeah. So I... Uh, that was the home of AWA. Right. American Wrestling Association. Right. You know, Vern Gagne, Nick yep. Barkwinkel, you know, all those people. And uh, I started um, taking photos in ringside. And oh, so you was going to the live events? Live events. Okay. Minneapolis Auditorium, St. Paul Civic Center. Got you. And, uh, well, I wasn't going to be photographer, yeah. but um, that's the first thing I had to do. Right. Take photos in ringside, then write little reports right. and send send it back to Japan, oh. Japanese magazine okay, from America. So, so, so you was talking, you was taking the pictures, yeah, and having like reports of the results and results and what I saw and started interviewing wrestlers okay. like Jesse, the you know Jesse the Body Ventura, of course, yeah, Adrian Adonis. And was it only one magazine back in Japan? That uh, it was quite a few, actually. Baseball magazine, Shaz, monthly still, monthly magazine, monthly pro wrestling magazine, Deluxe Pro Wrestling. Right. And uh, yeah, there was other magazines like a Gong, Tokyo yeah. Sports, but right. I, um, I wrote letters to wow. the editor yeah. of uh, monthly pro wrestling magazine. Right. I told him I could uh, write report and take photos and send the article to Japan yep. for Japanese publication. And the editor wrote me back, said, not thinking I could really do it. Yep. You know, I was 19. Oh, so he didn't have... He really believed me though, okay. you know, but uh, that was my way to get to the ringside. I know. I yeah. Yep. And then I bought the camera and I wasn't even a photographer, but uh, yes, I started taking photos ringside. That's, yeah. So people like, they were not getting, of course, today Other, on the internet, just... Oh, yeah, way that before thing. that, yeah. So only but, if you uh, are in tech, you just have local that access to your only mm -hmm. syndicated mm -hmm. TV. Right. right. Unless you are a hardcore wrestling fan and buy right. wrestling magazine and read everything, and it is other wrestling. Oh, but I see. not just Vince McMahon, but somebody was going to do it. And the cable TV era started in the 80s. And even, okay, I live in Minnesota. You could watch WTBS television from Atlanta right. and Saturday Night 605. And uh, you started watching NWA, National Wrestling Alliance Wrestling. Whoa, it's like a Southern Wrestling, they call it. But uh, yes, somebody was going to do the national do expansion. Right. Yeah. So you moved to Japan in 1985? Yes. And then it began like your Wrestling career, uh, journalist Europe, career? Uh, like it was your profession, I guess. Yes, okay. yes. Uh, can you just talk about like uh, the mid 80s of Japan? How was the situation of Japanese wrestling? It's was basically it? Giant Baba's All Japan Pro Wrestling and Antonio Inoki's New Japan Pro Wrestling. Only two. And the third group was the UWF. UWF, yeah. Yeah, you, that's like what we call today like work you know shoot yep. but and it was uwf was a force right. that was to change wrestling from inside yeah. you know even in japan we have this certain stigma you know 
a lot of people say Japanese wrestling is all serious. Of course, it's pretty serious yeah. compared to American style of wrestling in the 80s, but we still have this stigma. Yeah. Wrestling, that's phony, fake, or choreographed. That's this. for the people, right? Uh, for people who doesn't watch wrestling or who doesn't like, re right. really prejudice. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we do have that in Japan. And, and you, it's yeah. like on national TV? Yes. Yeah. How? Oh, uh, Antonio Inoki's New, New Japan Pro Wrestling is TV Asahi Channel 10. Okay. Now it's Channel 5. Right. But uh, and Giant Baba's All Japan Pro Wrestling, Channel 4, NTV, and also national channel. And was there Friday and Saturday, every weekend. So was it like the WWF and WCW TV wars or? No, they did not have TV in Japan, only Japanese wrestling. Uh, but I mean, how was it like uh, the battle on TV between old Japan and new Japan? Was it's it similar like, to the 90s? Or? Uh, it's like having two major leagues. We were speaking about Shinsuke Nakamura, right? And his run in WWE. A lot of fans, maybe they were a little bit expecting something else. But for me personally, I think he has adjusted perfectly. I really love the way he adapted to the WWE style in terms of character and... Uh, exactly the same as well. character he was doing with New Japan. So he, yeah, even he, as a heel? Yeah, well, that too, but uh, the entrance and the dance and all these things, and yeah, it was, he was perf perfect for WWE. Yeah. How, first of all, what do you think about him? Like, do you think he's doing a great job? As, has he met the expectations? It's really hard to judge right now, because yes. from probably three years from now, five years from now, and they look back and we have a better answer. Yeah. You know, first year was great. But now it's then no, the first year was NXT and second year with you know the program was AJ Styles and the like, almost main event in WrestleMania and almost winning a title. Yeah. And from there on it probably stepped down a little bit, yes. you know, but it's too early to judge. I, yeah. I think the fans they were expecting the Japanese style of matches for Nakamura here and WWE. Yeah. You know the strongest style with but it's different for him right now. He adjusted pretty well, though. He yeah, he was, did. Yeah, I yeah, agree. Yeah. And also, he had to do interview in English. Right. Yeah. yeah. And let's say... It's not the same. It's not the same, yeah, that's true. But yeah. uh, if you say, which wrestler right now from New Japan, he may, come have, he may have a, a huge chance in WWE, he will get over. Well, Hiroshi Tanahashi always have a chance. Really? Oh, yeah, if he wanted to come. But and, I mean... Uh, or Naito... I will think Naito probably will probably fit perfectly, yeah, yeah. Will make more than Tanahashi, right? And Kazuchika Okada. You yeah, think he, so? Yeah, oh yeah, all three of them. Right. Yeah, can he be. will fit in the... WWE. Or Kenny Omega, for that matter, yeah. yes. But I was thinking, for example, Tanahashi and Okada. Are they going to fit in, you know, the the show like on Raw on SmackDown. Do you think they are going to be like more of a TV character? I think Naito will get over, but mm, they when they come over, they will become WWE superstar. Yeah, you know. So when in Rome, do what yeah. Romans do. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, so. Yeah. It won't be that hard because they have foundation. They do have. Yeah, and then they have 10, 15 year, you know, experience. Of course, of course. So it, it's not much of a changing or just some some adjusting. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, they they can be all they superstars in America too. I yeah. think Hiromo has a quite good chance here. Who? Hiromo Takahashi. Yeah, I he think will he be cruiserweight here though. Oh really? Yes, yeah, small yeah, yeah. body. Yeah, small yeah, body. Yeah. Like junior heavyweight in Japan. Yeah. So 205 Live, maybe? He will, he will, and yeah. Kushida just signed. Yeah. So he will be, with, I'm pretty sure it will be 205 Live. I think so, yeah. Yeah, Cruiserweight. Maybe yeah. in NXT then. Then in NXT, probably, yes. Right. Yeah. Right. 
So Roll we are it. here in front of the world's most famous arena. Madison Square Garden. Madison Square Garden with Jim from the United States of America, myself from Bahrain, Mr. Fumi from Japan, and Ricardo from Mexico. So we have an international flavor. Yeah, 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 that's very good. Are you excited for the show? I think it's amazing. It's, when you're talking about all the different countries, um, you know, AAA is going to be running Madison Square Garden. Yes. Yeah. Japan is running Madison Square That's Garden. True, yeah. It's it's incredible what an international arena this is. It, it has become, yeah. Uh, for me, have yeah. you ever imagined that New Japan will have a show inside Madison Square Garden? Madison Square Garden, it's yeah. very interesting, yeah. Yeah. Because it's been WWE's home. And uh, yeah, for yes. 50 years, it and uh, or even longer than that. Right. So yes, this is a really historical day. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So we'll just uh, start. What are your some of your favorite Madison Square Garden matches, Ricardo? I it doesn't uh, like any match that yeah. happened in Madison Square I love Garden. That uh, Dynamite Kid against Tiger, Tiger Mask. Mask yeah. yeah. Like Tiger. nobody knew who they were really and they won the crowd over and that kind of flavor is what really made it much special for me. It At was. the end everyone was like, oh my god, this is incredible. It was. For me? Oh well, this, uh, this is like, there's so much going on right now, so yeah. Uh, this is what's happening today and yeah. it's, it's like 19, I mean, not 19, 19, I was in 2019, yeah. yeah. But um, I mean, your favorite Madison Square Garden match from the past. Wow. Uh, what, what matches stand out for you? Mm, there are so many good ones, yeah. So it's hard to say there was WrestleMania, you know, here. WrestleMania yeah. 10 was here. Yeah, was WrestleMania cool. 20 was here. Yeah. And yeah, all yeah. the different superstars were here, so yeah. The first one that came to mind was the boot camp match. I, I was just telling yes. uh, Ricardo that. Yeah, Sergeant Slaughter, Pat Amazing. Patterson. Pat Patterson. I mean, oh and that, 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 that match happened so long ago. And for a match that happened so long ago to still hold up today. Amazing match. 40 it's, years ago. It's yeah. brilliant today. It is brilliant. Yes. And to think that tonight there's going to be kids in the audience who are going to see whomever, whether it's Will Ospreay or it's Bandito or Jay White, and that is going to be their boot camp match tonight. Absolutely. And they're going to look back and they're going to go, this was my WrestleMania 1. or 30 years from now. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be their history. And it's just incredible to think that we're here tonight. Amazing. And which matches are you most looking for tonight? To tonight? Yeah. I am very much looking forward to Kote Ibushi against Tetsuya Naito. I OK, OK. Two absolutely brilliant uh, wrestlers that have, um, have been having tremendous matches throughout the last couple of years and I think tonight, on such a special night, they're going to deliver. It will accumulate in the garden, it's amazing. Yes, yes, yes. For me that. personally, my favorite, or oh, one of my favorite superstars of all time, Yushin Thunder Liger. Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just he waiting. He will be on, on a dark match he, opener. Yeah, opener, and yeah. I, just to see listening to his music and interviews right, like in often. America. Yeah. It will be so much special for him and for us yeah, as a yeah. band. That's right, that's right. Mr. Saito, how important is the main event for the Japanese wrestling scene? Like having Okada regain that championship or maybe having Jay White? Or I, my guess is that it is also Jay White's run. Yes. So he will retain the title, yeah. yeah. And actually, actually, this is like a re return match from Tokyo Dome this yes. year, three months ago. Yeah, full so, circle. Yeah, full circle. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, it's hard to guess. Yeah. Really hard to guess. It's interesting that they 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 have bet on uh, JY. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it reminds us a little bit for the Okada booking. Yeah. And we'll see. What do you think, Jim? Do you think JY will reach the success? Yeah, I think he will. Yeah. Um, I have faith in Ghetto's booking or whomever's doing it, New Japan, yeah. whomever is responsible. You look back and, you know, they had Prince Devitt and then they had AJ Styles, AJ Styles yeah. and then they picked Kenny Omega. And I had right. been a big Kenny Omega fan, seeing him in the smaller promotions. And the way Japan works, I was like, 
oh, he's not going to move up because Japan is just kind of like that. And then they yeah. picked him and he became a very serious and the biggest star in the world. In the world. Amazing. And now I think all eyes are on Jay White and I think underneath this spotlight he has yet to wilt. He has grown underneath this spotlight and, and I look forward to see where the journey takes us. It is interesting for me. Uh, right now I'm more interested on the JY Tatcher run more than the Kenny Omega's one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For some reason I think it will go well. Yeah, it's yet to prove, but yet yeah, to prove, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's in process of becoming much bigger star. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's right. That's right. Uh, so looking forward for tonight, oh, guys. guys. Thank okay, you, sorry. Jim and Fumi and Ricardo Thank for coming. You. Yeah. Okay. It's been really fun. Guys, we are heading to MetLife Stadium, WrestleMania. Nice. From First France, time, from Mexico, Ricardo, from all over the world. Are you excited? Yeah. First WrestleMania show for us. Oh, it's the first. It's gonna be awesome. First one. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Twenty-three years in the making. That's a lot. So, what <laughs> was your first WrestleMania that you guys uh, watched? 12. Twelve. Twelve. Oh, twelve. Iron Man, Man, Man match. Oh, did you get it on tape or? It was on television, it one, was on month television. one month after the event. How oh, on television? Yeah. The full show? Yeah, the full show. Yeah, but one For month free? For free. For uh, it was no. a scripted uh, channel. Oh, you but know. still, yeah. yeah. But it was okay. We had every match uh, except uh, Piper Goldust. But, oh, uh, because, yeah. That's not a problem. Maybe because it, was it wasn't a, yeah, and it wasn't a full match because there were clips and pieces, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I, I like this mini. What do you think about it, Ricardo? This one. Yeah, 12. At 12. Yeah. At 12. I think it is. It was very good, and it has the old one of the all-time greatest matches. Yes. Uh, Bret Hart against Shawn Michaels, the Iron Man. Iron match. Man match. Yeah. And um, but uh, besides that, there's not many yes. great memories. Good, yeah. I remember it was Undertaker mm. against this. Yes, yeah. I like this match a lot. This match is like good. It. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah. And I really like like the squash match of. Uh, oh. yeah. right. Tell tell us about this when you was watching live. But the fall experience. Was, uh, nobody on. The, I, I saw the guy uh, jumped right in the front row, then run to the ring, and he he go down the ropes, you know. Yeah. And mm. I, I I thought it was a fan, and he wanted mm. to hug Brett okay. at first, and then he attacked him. Everyone was shocked. Okay, was, that was, was crazy, amazing. right? Yeah, I wow. couldn't believe it. Wow. I think they stopped the network, uh, the yes, screen. Yeah. Yes, yes. Just after the guy uh, speared Brett. And did you see some of the guys jumping on him and hitting him, or? Yes, but, but me at first. Yeah. The way the guy entered the ring, he looked uh, like a professional. Yes. And I thought it was maybe an angle. Ah. Okay. Or only for one or two seconds. Okay. I thought maybe it was a. Uh, what, the what's new wrong? Shield, uh, yeah. <laughs> But right. when he attacked Brett, yes. then I understand uh, there was something wrong. And uh, it never happens. Yes. Especially on camera. It's on maybe a it's crazy. It's dark matches. It might be the often. first time that, you know... Something. I, on a big WWE show, yes. Yeah. I think it's the first time. And why did he but, get... Uh, uh, I was in the garden and Ross, a friend, texted me, someone has jumped to Brett. And I uh -huh. said, what do you mean? <laughs> and oh. I, I've seen the video, it was crazy. Yeah. Mm. And uh, people were mad. <laughs> wow. Were you pissed? Kick his ass, kick his yeah. ass, uh, kill him. Me? Yeah. I, I had a very good place. Yeah. Uh, s some uh, areas were closed and my ticket was in some of these areas. Okay. So they, they said, it's closed, sorry, we have a new ticket for you at the fourth <laughs> room. <Whoa. laughs> I was maybe five or ten <laughs> meters behind right. Sasha Banks, for example. Oh, uh, uh, and he started to uh, <laughs> check <True>. her out. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I got your ticket there. Uh, the place uh, uh, is it a good? good? Yeah, it was at uh, around the out entrance. Oh, that's that's quite yeah. good. That's quite good. And, but uh, and they uh, so, 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 so they took the man uh, down. Right. And uh, it was uh, only ten meters uh, from me, and uh, there was a uh, biggie strawman, and I wanted uh, them to to kill yeah. this yeah. this fan. I Rose, think Rose he, is Marie. 
He's a fighter. He's the yeah, MMA, MMA fighter. fighter. And yeah. the, the the guy, the the asshole, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> wants to be an MMA fighter. So I suppose he can fight. Wow. That's why. That's like dangerous. the way he entered the ring. He looked uh, trained, yes. yeah. professional. Yeah. Right? It's uh, but Brett, he continued the speech, right? Was yeah. it okay? Five, Before? It took yeah. five minutes, maybe five minutes. Five later, minutes of boring and then continued uh, like continued. nothing happened. Did yeah. he get a big uh, ovation? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Everybody uh, chanted, Brett, 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 Brett. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Nice. But going back to WrestleMania, the Ricardo, what is your favorite memory? Uh, yeah, WrestleMania. Favorite WrestleMania? Yeah. I think since the uh, 17. Oh, uh, really? WrestleMania 17 is the one that really, you know, it's perfect. Every yes. match is so fun. Um, you have a good booking, you have great yeah. memories, you had the yes. moments, you know, from Linda McMahon standing up yeah. to, uh, <laughs> to Stone Cold becoming a heel, you know. I Back when I started watching wrestling, that was maybe the Second the beginning. Third, what, third show I ever watched. It was Ooh, a great okay. show, yeah. So it's it helped me, you know, improve that that love, that feeling. Yeah. yeah. That feeling too. Don't personal. you think 19 is better than 17? I always enjoyed 19 more. I love 19. That was the yeah. first. Yeah. WrestleMania I ever saw. That was the first wrestling show I ever saw. So that's 19. A yeah. Place in yeah. My heart. But 17 yeah. is like you know. Yeah, it's the. Yeah, so yeah. maybe 19 is a little bit better in the ring. Yeah, but seventeen was uh, the the boom the, the peak. of wrestling. Yes, the, the attitude at its peak. Yes, uh, exactly. and it was Rock uh, Austin, the two Austin, biggest. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, on the main for, event for two or three years. Right. so it was huge. Mm. But I think and, uh, what's fun for uh, nineteen, like it has all sort of generation: Hogan, Shawn, Austin, yeah. Rock, Cena. The roster was even uh, everybody. Yeah. 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 And that match, the Hulk Hogan versus Beast McMahon street fight. Yeah. That's the match that made me a wrestling fan. Oh, yeah. it's, it's a great match, right? <laughs> so funny. It's so yeah. funny. It was wrestling, it was entertaining. It had yeah. drama, it had the blood. It right. Has, you know, this... Uh, was it the last Hogan match? Is it the last Hogan? No, he wrestled... Oh. Uh, Against HBK? HBK. That's a yeah. No, fight. I mean a WrestleMania. Ah. Yes, ah. The last WrestleMania Clips match, yeah. 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 A very good way At to 21, go. At 21, he in, he came to to fight uh, Mohamed Hassan. Yes. Oh yes, yes. yes. But yes. it wasn't a match. It's not a match. Mm. Not a match. Yes. Mm. For for me, I think my favorite WrestleMania or some of my favorite WrestleManias, seven of course. I love WrestleMania seven. <laughs> and WrestleMania eight, there is something okay. cool about it. I like. I love that yeah. WrestleMania. The stadium. The yes. Uh, the yeah. Brett, Brett uh, Roddy Piper yeah. match, one yeah. of my all-time favorites. Uh, I, eight is is like 19. They are yeah, different, gen different generation. Different generation, absolutely. They're still against Savage, uh, Ric Flair, but yeah. Ultimate Warrior, but they also Brett uh, in a single match. Yes. HBK, Taker. Santana, yeah. And I think... Santana? Uh, Tito and Sean, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. El, El Matador. Yeah. yeah. El Matador. Or was it Russell Minion? No, yeah. Oh, yeah eight. Yeah. Eight. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite WWE F title match of all time, Macho Man versus Ric Flair. It is so good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the promos before the match, after the match, the angle, amazing. The storyline. Yes, the storyline. Very, very good. One of my favorite WWE yeah. matches in WrestleMania history. Too. It's amazing. Yeah. The only bad thing about that kind of spoiled or how do you say kind of ruined the show was the main event you know like, <laughs> yeah uh, Papa it was yeah, a mess, the end yeah. was so bad the main event yeah. always belonged to the extra yeah <laughs> i guess especially in wrestlemania 9 as well yeah. i always I, but I, it's brett at ringside brett said to again uh, go, go go go, go yeah get, get your go <laughs> but isn't <laughs> like the setup that i think it was the yellow uh, the yellow setup was pretty cool, and the atmosphere. And was it ah, in yes. Caesar Palace? Caesar Palace. Caesar Palace. Nine. Yes. yes. Nine, yeah. yeah, that's mm. the one to remember mostly because of the aesthetics. You know, the palace. Everyone was raised like Roman culture. Yeah. But the wrestling was yes. absolute garbage. Bobby Allen right. on a, a camel. On camel. Uh, camel. Yeah. Here is a question for you guys. 
I always talk about the matches that nobody likes, but I like. <laughs> I am in love with the Bam Bam Bigelow main event against the... Me too. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Lawrence Taylor. Yeah, Man Taylor, man. Don't you like it? Uh, no, to me, I think I watched the match twice. <laughs> Twice? Oh, Not yeah. More. Me once. <laughs> he was. Twice. It was good, ago, right? So I could remember. I like it. I, I like it. I wasn't expecting anything, and yeah. it was just a wild, fun wild. match. Like. And Bigelow was uh, pumping like crazy. Yes, yes. yes. Pumping uh, all over the place. Right. And it, was, it was very fun. Like, it is. Like, I wouldn't go back to say, I want to watch this. But I liked the, right. the first time I saw it, and the only time I had seen it. It's pretty, <laughs> and it's amazing. Right. Bam Bam Miguelo had two main events at WrestleMania. Yeah. It's strange. Yeah. It's very strange. <laughs> King and, uh, Kong Bundy as well. Yes. Yeah. Two. WrestleMania two, yeah. Two. Uh, and and Brett's uh, WrestleMania eleven match match is uh, is worst. Yeah, I don't like it. And I I think it's uh, the match he mm. the least prefer. Yeah, with Bob Buckland. Yeah, he talked about it in his book, right? Yes. Mm. Yeah, I don't like this one. What's your favorite Bret Hart match in WrestleMania history? Mine? My favorite? WrestleMania 13 against Stone Cold. <laughs> it's pretty good. I can't say WrestleMania 12 because, because of the ending. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mine, uh, I would say uh, WrestleMania 6, this classic versus the Bolsheviks. 19, 19 seconds. Nice call, yeah. He's, Great wrestling. He's, he's a liar. <laughs> it's WrestleMania 13. Yes, it's 13, of course. For me, it has to be WrestleMania 10. Which one? Which uh, one? Versus <laughs> Owen, of course. Ah, of course. The match was so good, and the story is just perfect. <laughs> First WrestleMania ever, the man is there. <laughs>
here with the uh, with Mr. Rob, as you see, it's an amazing art. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. This is amazing. I mean, tell us this. Yeah, thank about. you. Uh, I've been WWE's artist in residence for six years now. Uh, debuted at WrestleMania 30, and we've just been building it and doing bigger and better each year. Amazing. And what was your wrestling fan before? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't grow up on wrestling. Right. I got in because uh, I had a single mom and one TV. She didn't want to watch wrestling. Gotcha, yeah. But uh, then when I was a little bit older, I started watching and yeah. I see. But I think there are something like about your art just... Are there some any ideas behind your uh, art that you are choosing or the shots? Yeah, like, you know, uh, everything that I do is... Like with each painting, I'm trying to make it not just look like the person, but make it feel like them. Yes, I want to okay. give that experience, right? right? Like, if you just want to see what they look like, you can look at a photograph. Yeah. I want to give you a feeling, an a emotion. Feeling. Exactly. If you can say, what are some of your favorite like characters that you can really uh, present your art with? Like, I've got the Macho Man. Macho Man is one it's of them for sure. Yeah. Uh, the the kind of guys where I can really push it further. So like Macho Man or Undertaker or now Finn Balor, right? Gotcha. Like I can really go further with it. Right. Can I have a close up of that awesome? Uh... Oh, I've been painting that here starting on Thursday, and I'll finish it. Up today. Oh, really? That's awesome. Now, would you like to say to the people who are not interested to get some of your art? Is there any way to buy them, like? Without coming to access like the people in the Middle East, how they can get your uh, yeah for sure. You can go to robshamberger.com. That's R O B S C H A M B E R G E R dot com. Right. Also on social media, you'll find me everywhere right. at Rob Shamberger on Twitter and Instagram. Art of Rob Shamberger on Facebook. That's great. One last thing, my favorite uh, art that you've done for me is the great art Steve Austin where they were exchanging punches. That was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for our time. Appreciate it. Thank you.
كتير كتير 